Preparation of a phenol formaldehyde resin. Attention, formaldehyde is carcinogenic on long-term exposure, can cause allergies and severe irritation of the skin, eyes and mucous membranes. Resorcinol is toxic if swallowed, can cause severe irritation of the skin and eyes and is very toxic to aquatic life. Sodium hydroxide solution is corrosive. I don't take any responsibility for damage done to persons or property caused by the recreation of this experiment. A test tube is filled with about 2 cm of resorcinol. Then distilled water is added until the resorcinol is slightly covered. After that, 2 ml of formaldehyde solution with a concentration of 25-30% to 30 are added. The mixture is carefully heated with a Bunsen burner until the resorcinol has dissolved. When the mixture has reached 50 degrees C or less, a long thin wooden stick is placed in the test tube. Now 4 drops of a 10% sodium hydroxide solution are added and the solution is well mixed with a stick. At this point the reaction can already begin. When this doesn't happen, it is heated again with a Bunsen burner while stirring until the solution boils without additional heat. From this point on it is only stirred strongly. Great care has to be taken with this reaction, because it can easily become too vigorous. In some cases, it can then be cooled with a nice bath. In the worst case, the mixture shoots out of the test tube. After a while, the formation of bubbles and the viscosity increase. The stick should touch the bottom of the tube when the mixture solidifies. When it's solid enough, it can be pulled carefully out of the test tube with a wooden stick. This was the case after about 30 seconds. The test tube can then be reused for other experiments. This is one of many different phenol formaldehyde resins, which is called Reso. At the beginning it has a rubber-like consistency. After about a day the mass has become darker and brittle. In addition to that the volume has decreased. Phenol formaldehyde resins were produced in high amounts at the beginning of the 20th century. Here phenol and hydrochloric acid were used instead of resorcinol and sodium hydroxide solution to make bakelite. This was one of the first polymers which has been used for many different purposes until the 60s. Even today sockets and light switches made of bakelite can still be bought. The resorcinol, which is called the monomer in this reaction, reacts with a formaldehyde to form dimers. The dimers then react to form long chains, which are called polymers, which causes the mixture to become solid and rubber-like. This is also called polymerization. After that, crosslinks are formed very slowly, which causes the material to become solid and brittle. This was the preparation of a phenol formaldehyde resin. I hope you enjoyed. Please rate and comment.